Hello everyone, today we will have an introduction video for the new medical system in Project Injury Reaction. Let's head to the wounded and start the treatment. We see a menu. Now I will explain what it means and what to do. In the center, we have a circle along with the wound display status. If we move the mouse there, we get a text explaining what we have displayed on the screen. If we click on this circle, our status will change and we have three scenarios. The first of them is blood loss. To make it clear what we have selected, we have this wound on top, this white stripe, blood flows out of it and we have a puddle on the bottom. This is the worst one of those all possible scenarios. We may have scenarios where we have just a wound without blood loss and severe blood loss, more precisely without bleeding and without severe blood loss. There may be a wound with bleeding but without severe blood loss, basically that's all. The second is breeding. Variations in breeding are possible. Breeding is normal, breeding is absent and in this case damage to the airways. Third is the heartbeat. There could be heartbeat and there could be none. These are all the scenarios. Around us are the buttons of the treatment itself. Each button has an icon and I believe they are all clear. Now I will go through all the buttons and explain what they mean and how do they work. The first button is an indirect heart massage. What it does is clear. If there is no pulse, for example, you will have to do an indirect heart massage. After its execution, we will have to do artificial respiration. And these two actions together make up one cycle. In order for a pulse to appear, you may need to perform several cycles of treatment. We may have to do chest compressions and artificial respiration several times. It depends on what we have chosen in the settings and on the severity of the injury. But in this case, we have damage to the airways. Here we have an air duct. If we do not install it on the wounded, they will not be able to breathe, even if we do chest compressions and artificial respiration. So in this case, we will first have to install the duct. After that, we can move on to the other actions. Each action has penalties for errors. If you make a mistake when massaging the heart, several divisions of the circle will be removed for your mistake. And the probability of the death of the patient will increase. These are all configurable in the settings and you can set different penalties for incorrectly performed actions. Our next step is painkillers and this is what it's for. To make it clearer, I will now show what each action looks like. For example, a heart massage. When we click on it, the four WASD buttons appear on the screen. The eliminated button must be pressed. When it goes out, then it must be released. And for each type of treatment, the combinations will be different. Let's see what it looks like on the example of heart massage. The procedure is clear. Each action has a delay on the player's reaction. The time at which we need to press these keys. If you do not get the timing correct, we will have this situation. We will light up a red circle which will display the action was performed incorrectly. You did not have the timing correct or you pressed the wrong keys, then there will be an action error. And so, the reaction time is also set in the menu. A simple soldier is set to 0.6 seconds by default. If you are a medic, that is, you have a first aid kit, then 
this time will increase to 0.8 seconds. So back to the painkillers and for what it does. If you use it, then the reaction time is increased by 0.2 seconds. This setting as well can be configured in a menu. Now we will give him an injection. A green circle in the center indicates that the action was performed correctly. After we give him an injection, it will become easier for us to do all the other required actions. And so for the next item what we have is a tourniquet. Tourniquet is for blood loss. That is, if we have active bleeding, the tourniquet must be applied. Let's get this done right away. Each action is accompanied by animation so that all looks quite natural. The duration for each action, the number of these actions within each action, all of this can be configured in the menu. And so we apply the tourniquet. The status of the injury has changed accordingly. The next item we have is saline. The saline solution is applied in the case when we have blood loss, that is, when the puddle icon is displayed. But the saline is not a priority right now. Let's skip it for now. Bandage is next. Bandages are applied when we have an open wound. The top bar on the icon. But now it's not a priority action also, so let's skip this. The next step is the duct. That's what we need right now for the wounded to start breeding. Now we will install it. Done. The status icon has changed. Now, since it's written that there is no breeding, and there is no breeding because there is no heartbeat, now we move on to the artificial respiration. I think it's clear, and I've already talked about it. Next, the topmost icon is assistance. There can be numbers displayed next to the little man icon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The number indicates the required number of additional players for treatment. That is, if we have one here, then just one player won't be able to start the treatment until another player starts assisting. If the number is 2, then two players need to assist at the same time. Then I'll show you what it looks like. In this case, we only need one player to heal. Assistance can also be used if you see how long the wounded has left, for example, one or two divisions of the circle. In this case, you simply won't have the time to do all the required actions. So we start assisting. This is how it looks, and while we're assisting, the wounded won't die from factors like blood loss or cardiac arrest. After that, we can wait for another player, and while you're assisting, he will do all the other actions. After that, you can stop assisting. Another thing is, in order for everything to work, we must press the assist button and hold it with the mouse all the time. The mouse can be moved to the side but the action will continue. And this applies to all other icons except for the central one which when clicked changes the status. Let's continue with the treatment. Now we see that the wounded man has no pulse. Let's give him a heart massage. And so we perform the heart massage. After which, we need to do artificial respiration.
we see that we did not have a pulse, so we repeat these actions. Again, artificial respiration. Great, I now have a pulse. And as you can see, the wounded man started moving. These are the primary signs that we can see without opening the menu. If the wounded lies and does not move, then he has 100% cardiac arrest. The same applies to blood loss, that is, if we see dripping blood, then there is definitely bleeding. If, as in this case, there is no blood under the wounded person, then he is not bleeding. So let's see what we have left to do. The wounded man is already breathing, and there is a lot of blood loss and an open wound. Let's put a bandage. After we put on the bandage, now an icon appeared on the top that we have a bandage applied a bandaged wound, and a lot of blood loss. So now, we transfer plasma. And let's see what we have next. Well, failure. Let's try again. I hope that the actions taking place in the central menu with buttons are clear enough. The button lights up, you press, you hold it. The button is off, you need to release it. We see that the wounded man is back on his feet, but he is still covered in blood. This means that the wounded is not in full health. Since we are now a medic, that is, we have a large first aid kit, we can replenish his health. And yes, one more nuance. A saline solution, which we just did, it can only be delivered by a doctor. If this is selected in the settings, then I will show you this case. And now we will continue his treatment, and so we go back to the treatment menu. Now, as we can see, our menu has changed, and only three actions are available. This menu will open when we try to heal ourselves, that is, when we can still walk. Or it will open when we try to treat the wounded who is still on his feet and not lying around. Since the bleeding has stopped, the wound has been bandaged. A new pill action opens on the central icon. With the help of pills, we can replenish the health of units, so let's see what it looks like. With each action, the wounded replenishes health, that is, in this case, the circle directly means health, and with each tablet given, the circle fills up. That's it. 
we now have a completely healthy unit. And so let's take a look at the settings menu. Go to the project injury reaction and scroll down to the advanced medicine section. In order for advanced medicine to work, you need to uncheck this item. That is, if we uncheck the box, then advanced medicine is turned on. Let's see what will significantly affect the implementation of all these actions. Here we have an option that includes explanations. It affects the captions that appear when you hover over an icon. For the beginners, I advise you to not turn it off. But when you already remember the meanings of the icons, you can uncheck this item so that the text does not appear and does not block your actions on the buttons. Next, we have an option about the actions of the keys. What does it mean? When we have a full engagement, this means that the WASD key combinations up to 4 keys can be pressed at the same time. This can be quite difficult for some players as I understand that some keyboards do not support more than 3 keystrokes at the same time. In this case, it is worth switching to partial activation of the keys. With partial activation of a key, no more than two keys will be activated at the same time. Absolutely any keyboard can work in this mode. The third option is no keys. And now I will show it clearly. Let's hurt the unit again. We approach the wounded. And since we have now enabled the no keys option, when we start performing actions, the buttons will not need to be pressed. We just press the tourniquet and the action takes place automatically. This is worth using if you find it very difficult to press the keys. Here is a light mode which everyone absolutely can handle. That is, no timing skills are needed and so on. Now, next, here we see the Selene icon at the bottom. Now we will try to drop the first aid kit from the backpack. We throw it on the ground and now we won't even be able to help, because it is required to transfer plasma to the wounded. Okay, let's do this now. As I said, in this mode, our actions are performed automatically, that is, the possibility of an error is completely absent. We see the circle in the center light up during the action. And if we still need more players for the treatment, the circle in the center will not light up, and this means that the action has not started. I will demonstrate this later. And so, great! Now we have to put a bandage on him. Let's leave ourselves one dressing bag so that we can help him at all and drop the first aid kit. Now we go back to treatment. We see that the Selene has become unavailable. When you play as an ordinary soldier, not as a medic, with some types of injuries, you will not be able to heal the wounded. That means you will definitely need a doctor. And so, let's take back the first aid kit and now we will cure him.
Well, we cured him. And now we will replenish his health. There you go. Now we go back to the settings and set it in these items that we only need two players to heal. And again we will try to hurt him. And so we approach and now we see that the wounded needs one more player. And when we press any action, the circle in the center will not light up and the action will not start. In this case, we can only assist so that the wounded person does not die. See, the number is gone. This means that the next player who will assist will be able to perform all other actions while we are assisting. So, how does assistant look like from the outside? Let's see. That is, we enter and now we begin to assist. When we assist, it will be visible from the outside. When we press any other action, our character will animate other players for help, so that this will be clearly displayed. This is done so that you can understand without words whether more people are needed for the treatment or not. If we go back to the full-fledged treatment mode, when we're here and press the heal and we need more players, the keys will appear, but they won't light up until we have another player coming up and assisting. Then we will need to let go of the action and start it again. Then we will begin the process of treatment. Let's go back to the settings. We'll see that we have time before the start of treatment. Now two seconds are set. This is the time that passes between pressing the selected action and the beginning of the active action with the WASD buttons. So that we have time to prepare. Next is the reaction time. This is just the time that is responsible for how much time you have left to press the buttons. If you do not have the correct timing in pressing the correct buttons, you will have a failure. Next we have the assist coefficient. This is the time that is added to the reaction time if we have someone assisting you. Next comes the anesthetic injection coefficient. If you made an injection, then this is the time that is added to the reaction time. Next, we have coefficient of the medic. This coefficient is added again to the reaction time if you have a large first aid kit. Following settings, there is for example cardiopulmonary resuscitation, that is a minimum and a maximum. Currently selectable as at least 1, maximum 2. This means a cycle of heart massage and artificial breathing. This means that there can be one to two such cycles. In this case, you can also set any range, depending on the injury. You can have one, maybe two. We can set it to nine, ten, whatever. Let's go back to how it was. Penalty for an error in an indirect heart massage. If you make a mistake with an indirect heart massage, you will lose 3 divisions from the circle. And for every action in the menu there is a penalty and we can customize everything for ourselves. Next we have treatment when taking pills. 4 is the number of cells added when you give one pill. That is, the higher the value here, the faster health will be replenished. 
x, we have many points for each individual action. In this case, an indirect heart massage, minimum and maximum. That is, from 8 to 12 pressings on the chest. You can have 8, maybe 12, well, 9, 10, 11, in between. You can also set realistic parameters, like 30 times, just as in real life. By setting the value to 30, everything will be like in reality. But if you set real parameters, then you need to consider that our treatment can last about 15 to 12 minutes. We need to understand this. Almost every action has a setting for the number of phases, with artificial respiration, when applying a bandage, when applying a tourniquet, and so on. Next come the phase schedule, that is the minimum phases, the maximum phase 1 and 2. What does it mean is that when we move the mouse here and it says that 1 is the minimum time of the chest pressing phase and phase 2 is the minimum time of the chest release phase during the indirect massage. That is, when we press the chest and when we release, the time of holding the buttons in this state will vary from 0.2 to 0.4 seconds and when we release, respectively, from 0.4 to 0.6 seconds. These parameters are written for absolutely any phase of any action and all subsequent many items are responsible for precisely these moments for each action for each phase. Until you get used to it, it is better to not change anything here. First, you need to understand how it all works in general and whether you want to touch anything at all. Next, what else significantly affects the advanced medicine in the old settings? Let's go back and see what we have here. There is a treatment section. In it, we look at the item dressing pack fully restores the health of the player and AI. Two options. If we remove the check marks from here, then in order to fully heal a unit, we need a large first aid kit. I showed you this before, the absence of saline and the possibility of giving pills to the wounded at all. It all depends on these points. If we uncheck the box here, then a first aid kit will be needed for these actions. The next item is that a first aid kit helps in an unconscious state. This means that when we have a large first aid kit, we can treat the wounded. For this, we do not need dressing bags in order for the unit to be raised. Accordingly, if we remove this item, then even if we have a first aid kit, we will spend dressing bags. This way, we won't have infinite first aid kits, and we won't be able to heal units endlessly. If we remove this item, the first aid kit will make it possible to apply saline to give pills, therefore replenish health. But at the same time, we will lift the wounded with dressing bags. Further, we have already changed these parameters and accordingly we understand what they mean. How many players we need to heal, that is at least one player and maximum two. The next item generally indicates the maximum number of players that can participate in the treatment, in this case, six. And so everything else, for example, the time of blood loss, is now set very large, so that you can have the time to provide assistance until the wounded person dies. That is, this will naturally affect our blood loss. These parameters, the time of performing assistance, for example, they no longer affect since we have advanced medicine turned on. And these parameters only affect simple medicine when we simply hold the action in order to heal a unit. In principle, these are the main settings that should be changed, in the case of advanced medicine. The other options, of course, affect some settings, you can read the descriptions for that. But these listed settings are the most important things you can change to radically affect the advanced medicine. And so, what else I want to show? Let's see. Okay now, we can't treat him, so now we will start again.
And now I want to show how it will look like to perform a full-fledged treatment until the unit is back on his feet. And so let's herd him now. We have a unit now. And in this case we see that he is losing blood and accordingly he can lose consciousness and fall. That's why we go into the treatment menu and look. As I said, we have three action buttons and a center circle with bleeding display. And so we see that we have a bleeding and open wound. So first of all, let's give him a tourniquet now, so that the unit does not lose consciousness. That's it, tightened, and now let's put a bandage on. Well, bad luck. Let's try again. So great, we now apply the tourniquet and a bandage, pills appeared in our center. You see that if we did not have the first aid kit, then we would also have the status of blood and we will not be able to do anything further. But now we have pills, so we can give them to the wounded. Great, he's completely healthy again. And so, in principle, AIs are smart enough to help themselves or help other wounded. So let's hurt him now and we'll see how he will help himself. Again, we have a variable for the, how he may be able to help himself or not. Well, let's see how it all ends. Let's increase the time. Because AI does not immediately help himself, rather after a while. These time periods may vary, but we'll see. And so, here we see that the AI has begun to help himself. Here, he is applying a tourniquet. And now he will be bandaged. But since he does not have a large first aid kit, after that he will not be able to do anything. That is, he will no longer replenish his health. He just bandaged it, applied the tourniquet, and accordingly his blood loss stopped. We see that no new blood is formed under him. The blood stains disappear, so he has no blood loss now. Alright, he's cured. Accordingly, if there were two AIs now, and let's say one of them was unconscious, the second one will also try to help him. So basically, that's all. There is nothing complicated, you have to learn, practice, and then you will succeed. Well, thank you for your attention.